when you play Doom, it just, it feels different. We've taken the essence of, of Doom, the DNA of Doom, and said, how does, how does this translate for a modern shooter audience? It's exciting. It creates that feel that is unique to us, and you know that's why we do this: is to create uh, experiences that are that are unique and are something that is distinctly ours. It starts with combat, the fluidity of movement, the speed of movement, using your guns in in really effective ways, and feeling connected to the weapons, the responsiveness of the weapons. Doom is about, about guns, first and foremost, and, and you know, fighting demons with guns. I think the designers here did a great job. I mean, they, they, they really tried to make each weapon distinct. Each one kind of has its own style to it. For example, the shotgun's kind of an up-close and personal weapon, but you can modify it so it has an alternate fire that can, you can, it works from a distance. You're inspired to keep playing because you want to fill up that full arsenal. And you're also fighting against the full suite of characters that, that we have in the game. And each of those characters are kind of like a chess piece. So once the chessboard is full in the later levels and your arsenal is full, then you can kind of pick and choose and tailor your experience to your certain playstyle with just the weapons alone. The way that you play is, is one of the most fun parts about Doom. Your Argent energy you've just taken into your system. It seems to agree with you. We've kind of had this whole upgrade system that allows you to play in a lot of different ways and use, you know, your own strategy and in, in how you approach the different arenas and, and, you know, even tweak that as you go through the game. Then there's the, uh, the progression items like the research projects that we have and the runes. Uh, each of those basically allow you to customize your, your character and, and the way the game plays and the way it feels. I like to tailor my experience to uh, speed, make it so I can glory kill faster, I can mantle faster, I can switch mods faster, I can do all these things just a little bit faster. And once you stack these things on top of each other, the game just plays even faster than it already does, which uh, out the box it's, it's pretty, pretty fast. So, uh, but that's my personal play style. A lot of games have kind of execution moves. Because the game is so fast paced, it was a nice way to, to get out of what kind of happens with the clunkiness of some melee systems um, and, uh, and, and make melee within the Doom franchise something that, that really is very Doom. It's a contextual. Anywhere that you look, you actually glory, do a different glory kill on a character. So if I approach a character from behind, I'll do a certain type of glory kill. And it all feels very fluid. I've played the game for a crazy amount of time and I still love doing it. It's not a casual game where you can kind of, you know, be doing something else while you play, especially in the arenas, you know, they're, they're very challenging in, a, in the best possible way. We fill uh, these, these spaces and these combat encounters with, uh, with such a nice diversity of, of, of enemies um, that are so distinct in their, each of their behaviors. It's kind of like a mental chess game that's happening at a million miles an hour. You could turn a corner, there's a Mancubus, you're probably going to want to switch to a chain gun or a rocket launcher or, or a Gauss cannon, whatever is your, is your favorite heavy type weapon. All these things are kind of happening really fast and it makes for an incredibly engaging experience. Doom, you kind of, you got to sit up in your chair a little bit and shake out your hands. You, you, you know, you get beat a couple times and you're like, okay, this time I got it. 